question five. Okay, so Paris, um, a day trader, has purchased a hundred thousand T bill for ninety six thousand five hundred. So just remember that T bills um, are basically sold at their f face value, and then we buy them at a discount. So here was the discount itself, okay, of about three and a half thousand. <clears throat> so the T bill was. 364 days in length, what percent yield did this purchase give? So we have the uh, future value and present value here. We know the length and time, and the only thing we're missing is the percent yield. That's it. Okay, so uh, this is very nice question here, much simpler. Okay, so we have, okay, so I said we have the future value, we have the present value. Well, I guess if we have these two, then we also know how much interest. So if you subtract the two, <clears throat> Okay, you'll get three and a half thousand, so that's going to make this a little bit easier. And um, we also have T, which is 364 days. Okay, well, so let's find it. So I is equal to P R T. Okay, so. P is 9650. We don't know the rate, we do know the time. Okay, so if you rearrange this because we want to solve for R, okay, so you're going to get. So divided by nine six ninety six thousand five hundred three sixty four over three sixty five. Okay, so just um, be careful how you set it up. Okay, so let's find out R. Okay, so we can uh, punch this all in. It's going to come out to approximately, do I have to round this to anything? No. Okay, so I'll round it to two decimal places as a percent. Okay, so it's approximately 3.64%. That's it. That's the percent yield um, for this particular example.